Ethiopia and its capital city Addis Ababa have undergone massive transformations with mega development projects boasting a rich history and culture while also providing modern and tourist friendly attractions. Prime Minister Abi Ahmed's vision has helped transform Addis Ababa by converting dumping grounds to green spaces like the Unity Park. Addis Ababa is now emerging as a must-visit destination for many travelers who want to immerse themselves in the Ethiopian culture while also experiencing modern-day city amenities. In this video, I present to you the 8 shocking mega-projects in Ethiopia. Number 8. The Unity Park Located in Aratkilo in Addis Ababa, the Unity Park is the most advanced and comprehensive tourist attraction site in Ethiopia. The Unity Park project was constructed by the Ethiopian Prime Minister Abi Ahmed with 5 billion Ethiopian beer and has been open to public since 2019. Additionally, the park offers a chance to learn about the history of Ethiopia. At the park, you will find different animal species like the black mane lion which is only found in Ethiopia. Number 7. The Science and Technology Museum The Science and Technology Museum is a modern facility featuring a science and technology exhibition hall, a library, a design laboratory, a workshop, and sound studios. The facility also boasts a dome theater and a 3D cinema that can hold up to 200 people. The museum is a great place for children and adults alike who are interested in science and technology to gain insights. Number 6. The Abrehot Library Located on the Niger Street in Aratkilo, in front of the Parliament Building, the Abrehot Library is regarded as one of the top 10 libraries in Africa. The name Abrehot in Amharic means enlightenment. The Grand Library was built by the Addis Ababa City Administration and was formally opened to the public on January 2022 by Prime Minister Abi Ahmed and other dignitaries. The fascinating aspect of the Abrehot Library is that it has set up facilities for both on-site and off-site e-library services, making it possible for all learners to have simple access to a range of digital reading resources. By doing this, it creates an effective reading culture throughout Ethiopia. Number 5. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam Established on the Blue Nile River in the Banishangul Gumuz area of Ethiopia, 40 kilometers east of Sudan, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, also called JAD, is a 5 billion USD project that is expected to bring to an end the regular power shortage problems in Ethiopia. The project will also reduce flood that has affected Sudan for many years. The project, however, escalated tension between Ethiopia and Egypt as Egyptians have been the long-time beneficiaries of the Nile River and depend on the river for about 90% of their daily water use. Talks were held between the two parties and the disagreement was allegedly resolved. However, some Egyptians are still concerned about the project.
Number 4, the Halala Kela Resort. One of the flagship projects by the Prime Minister, Abi Ahmed, the Halala Kela Resort is a haven for travelers seeking to experience the beauty of Ethiopia's natural landscape while also immersing themselves in the country's rich historical and cultural heritage. With its excellent amenities, serene setting, and breathtaking views of the surrounding environment, it is the perfect getaway for those seeking to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Number 3. The Addis Ababa Bowl International Airport The Ethiopian government has a plan of making the Addis Ababa Bowl International Airport the leading airport in Africa by 2025. As such, the government has undertaken and is still undertaking massive expansion projects in the airport. Currently, the expansion project, which involves the construction of the third and the final phase, is near completion. Currently, the airport has a capacity of handling 22 million passengers annually. Number 2. The Mescal Square the Mescal Square derived its name from the Mescal Festival, which is an annual festival in Ethiopia in honor of Helena, the mother of Emperor Constantine, for discovering the real cross that Jesus Christ was crucified on. The celebration is similar to Ash Wednesday in the West in many aspects. The square also serves as a location for gathering of the general public and protests. There are also other several public events that are frequently hosted there, including concerts and parades. Finally, we have the Shegel Riverside Project. The Addis Ababa Riverside Project, also called the Shegel Beautifying Project, is an initiative that was developed and financed by the government of Ethiopia and supported by the Chinese government. The project aimed at beautifying the section of Addis Ababa, cleaning waterways, and invest in construction of public works. The project included building a friendship square, a central square with a science and technology museum, a kids' amusement park, a sports center, a waterfront auxiliary building, and a dome theater, in addition to supporting facilities like roads, pavements, decorative lighting, and landscaping. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe as I bring you more information on the African continent, people, and culture.